blood and stem cell recipient and a donor from Johnson County are sharing their stories in the hopes of encouraging others to get on the registry. According to an international nonprofit called DKMS, 70% of people with blood-related illnesses must rely on donors outside of their family. KSHB 41 News reporter Gian Kim shares both perspectives of the process. This looks wonderful. Meet Dr. Nevin Waters. It is fantastic. You're catching him in his own element. He's been pulling teeth and filling cavities since 1975. Yeah, I don't see any issues here at all. But that was until December of 2003. It's been 17 years. You'd think that I'd be used to it by now, but I'm still, maybe I still just don't believe or can't believe it happened. Dr. Waters came face to face with a form of leukemia. His best chance of survival was a blood stem cell transplant. He felt scared and hopeless until a match made in heaven. A 40 year old man from Norway made the sacrifice to donate for me. The transplant gave him a second chance at life. He now uses his profession for ministry, helping those who are currently walking with cancer. The radiation affects the body's ability to heal, so any tooth that is questionable unfortunately has to go, and I get to sit down and tell people that, and it's it's something I think I do with empathy because I've been through what they're going to go through. Inspired by Dr. Waters' story, his longtime patients Elizabeth and Chris Leonard joined the DKMS donor list in hopes to help him. While they weren't a match for Dr. Waters. Ten years later, I became a donor um, for a stranger. Leonard and her brother both matched a woman in her 60s. After some sibling rivalry, she was chosen for the transplant. It means so much to me and it brightens my world because I know that I'm giving back and doing something good. This, this has been so much fun. I mean, when you came in to tell me that you've been chosen, it, it, warmed, it warmed my heart. It, it really did. While these two may never get to meet their donor and recipient, they continue telling their stories in hopes to help more lives and get donors on the list. Of those 400 people, I know six people have been chosen to donate. All right, get to work. Gian Kim, Kiss HB 41 News.